Hello there. We meet again on Form 4, KSSM, Chapter 13, Homeostasis and the Human Urinary System. The content standard is 13.1 Homeostasis. Learning standard 13.1.1 Explain the meaning of homeostasis. 13.1.4 Apply the knowledge of homeostasis concept in regulation of partial pressure of carbon dioxide and blood pressure. Homeostasis What is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the regulation of physical and chemical factors of the internal environment in our body so that our internal environment is within its normal range. It is for the cell to function at optimum level. Regulation of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. Breathing is an involuntary action that is regulated by the respiratory control center which is located in our medulla oblongata. This respiratory control center helps to maintain homeostasis. How? By controlling the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in our blood. Now, we are going to see how partial pressure of carbon dioxide in our blood is regulated. It starts with vigorous activity. During vigorous activity, our partial pressure of carbon dioxide will increase. What happens in the blood is, this carbon dioxide will dissolve in the blood plasma to form carbonic acid. And then, the carbonic acid is broken down into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. Due to that, the pH of our blood and the pH of our cerebrospinal fluid will decrease. The decrease in the pH will be detected by one chemoreceptor in medulla oblongata and the pH, the lower pH, also will be detected by peripheral chemoreceptor in the carotid and aortic body. This is aortic body. This is, uh, sorry, this is carotid body, which is located at our neck. When chemoreceptor detected the changes of pH, nerve impulse is triggered. The nerve impulse is then sent to the respiration control center inside our medulla oblongata. And then the nerve impulse will be sent to our intercostal muscle, diaphragm and cardiac muscle so that they will contract and relax faster. Breathing rate will later increase heart rate also increases, ventilation rate also increases, so more carbon dioxide can be expelled from the lung. As a result, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and blood pH will go back to normal. Now, we we'll see how our blood pressure is regulated in our body. First, if our blood pressure drops, baroreceptor in the aortic arch and carotid artery will be less stimulated. This is the baroreceptor in the carotid artery. This is the baroreceptor in the aortic arch. Cardiovascular control center in the medulla oblongata will also be less stimulated. Arterial vasoconstriction occurs meaning our artery diameter will constrict and uh, the diameter will become smaller. Resistance to blood flow will then increase. There will be stronger contraction of the cardiac muscle. This will cause blood pressure to increase and then later go back to normal. Now what happens if our blood pressure increases? Then, the baroreceptor in the aortic arch and carotid artery will be stimulated. 
the cardiovascular control center in the medulla oblongata will also be stimulated. Arterial vasodilation occur. Vasodilation meaning the artery will become bigger. The diameter of the artery will become bigger. So resistance to blood flow will decrease. Weaker contraction of cardiac muscle also occurs. So blood pressure drop and then go back to normal. Discuss this question with your teacher. Ahmad has just finished a 100 meter sprint run. Explain how his blood pressure is lower back to normal range. Till then, bye bye.